Hello my loving dozens, this is Carla, and I'm here again in my kitchen today for a very pantry forward dish that could be made for breakfast, lunch, or for dinner. I am making pantry eggs in purgatory today. Eggs in purgatory is a really familiar and beloved dish where eggs are poached in a spicy tomato sauce. Today I'm kind of riffing on that with a base of harissa, which is a red chili paste, canned chickpeas, onion, garlic, herbs that I save from the herb drawer. This is really something that is there for you in the same way your desperation pasta is there for you. The whole thing happens in this one pan. It goes super, super fast. I will show you now. All right, to start my sauce, I've got some onion and garlic and I'm just gonna thinly slice both of them. The original version of this recipe is in my book, That Sounds So Good. In the original version, I don't use tomatoes, I use tomato paste. We were setting out to shoot this video today with tomato paste and guess what I said I had, but I didn't have, tomato paste. So if this happens to you at home, I don't want you to go to the store and buy tomato paste. I want you to just finish making your dinner. I'm gonna use what I did have, which was harissa, which is, you know, similar in that it's gonna give body, it's a paste, but it's not tomato, it's red chili, it's spicy, and it wouldn't really be a pantry dinner if we had to go to the store. So I just wanna live and die by the rules that I make for myself. We're trying to stay out of purgatory here. So step number one is thou shalt not lie about having tomato paste when thou didn't have any. So if I didn't have an onion, I would use a leek. And if I didn't have a leek, I would use a shallot. And if I didn't have a shallot, I would use a scallion. And if I didn't have any of it, I would just use a bunch of garlic. And to all of you people who decided to get chickens during this time of crazy egg pricery, how the <laughs> is it going? Do you hate having chickens? Did you adopt these chickens and find out, I hate these birds. And did you also find out that it takes the birds like a year to start laying eggs? That must be a real um, shock to the system. Extra virgin olive oil, three-ish tablespoons. Okay, I'm seasoning my onion and my garlic, good amount of salt and pepper. The salt's gonna help the onion express its liquid and start to soften. And I'm not going for like full caramelized and jammy with this at all, but definitely wanna cook off the hot flavor of the onion, get these guys nice and soft and starting to brown, which should take five or six minutes. All right, these look gorgeous. They're translucent, but they're taking on some color. My garlic is nice and toasty, but it is not burned. This would be the time to add my harissa. And I do recommend if you are using harissa, they're really different in spice level. This one's not that spicy. So it was a tablespoon of tomato paste. I feel like I can do close to that. If you were working with a very spicy harissa, um, maybe go a little less. And I'm just gonna cook it out in the onion and garlic until it turns like a nice orangey brown. It smells really, really good. I feel like purgatory is very metal. Like what's more metal than like just hanging out in the burning hot antechamber of hell, <laughs> but not being in hell, just like hell adjacent is, is metal. Obviously you guys know I'm super metal. <laughs> Everybody can tell that just by looking at me. One can of chickpeas that have been drained. You could use a nice white bean here. And I just want the chickpeas to pick up all of these wonderful flavors. Like at this point I have like a chili oil and hot caramelized onions in here. Chickpeas need seasoning. Okay, so at this point I have chickpeas that have picked up these lovely seasonings and even I'm hearing a little bit of crackling and things starting to stick a tiny bit. We're in pantry world, so I'm not pulling stock out for this. I'm pouring one cup of regular old water into this pan and that's gonna form the sauce part of the sauce. I'm obviously eyeballing, about a cup. All right, so when this comes to a simmer, I'm gonna crack some eggs. Should I go super hardcore and crack the eggs directly into the pan? Like, are we living on the edge? Hot blooded, check it and see. But it's more like hot saucy, crack it and see. <laughs> living on the edge. Cracking eggs like a crazy lady. I'm going off the rails on a crazy train because so many things could go wrong. I could break the yolk. I could break the shell. I did neither. 
One egg in. Things are going great. I don't think these eggs are going to be in purgatory for very long. They're behaving wonderfully. Don't do what I'm doing, guys. It's very dangerous. Oh, I want to season the tops of the eggs. So I need sass, a frass. My liquid is bubbling a little bit. My heat is pretty low, but you would adjust it as needed to kind of keep things at like this gentle poaching temperature. And I'm gonna cover the pan and cook them until the whites are set, but the yolks are runny. We want runny yolks. Runny yolks are for purgatory. I do not want hard boiled because hard boiled eggs is for deviled eggs. So we want runny, not the deviled. Runny, not the deviled. <laughs> okay, we're covering. And this is like a five to six minute experience. So it's really not that long to burn off your bad behavior. Tip to shopping, that is very real. In the back of the fridge is where I'll roam. Yes, now I've got some garlic to feel. No, I ain't going out when I got eggs at home. Running up the devil. So now I'm gonna make the parsley salad that goes with the eggs. I need about two cups roughly chopped. And again, if you have a different kind of soft and fluffy herb that needs to be liberated from the antechamber of despair and rot, which is the crisper drawer, then use that instead. Like basil would be great, chives would be great, tarragon would be great. Cilantro would be awesome. So let's say that's a cup. So I'm gonna give this a little drizzle drazzle of olive oil and tossy toss. I had a lemon in the fridge. I think any kind of vinegar that you've got sitting on your caddy definitely can turn this into a little parsley salad. So not too much extra dressing, but like definitely enough to coat. Oh yeah, dandelion greens can be hardcore. They have a bitterness to them, but like I don't feel like hardcore is bitter necessarily. I feel like hardcore is like very expressive. So to finish this off, I have toasted sesame seeds and this is somewhere in between like a salad and a condiment almost. Looks really pretty. I'm sure it's delicious. Mmm, so good. The toastiness of the sesame seeds is really great. So this is done. My eggs are coming off. Time to plate. Oof -da. All right, here are my eggs out of purgatory. Great meal for the morning, great meal for the evening. There's really no wrong time to have it. This guy looks beautiful. I definitely recommend serving with like some nice crusty bread on the side for soaking up all the juices. Just a little extra salt. Some of this pretty parsley salad. Okay, people, it's the moment of truth because I want a runny egg. Mmm. See, guys? Runny, not the devil. Runny, not the devil. Mmm. Oh my God, I didn't think about this before because the harissa was like a surprise ingredient, but the harissa and the toasted sesame flavor, delicious. And the caramelized onions and the delicious egg and the brothy saucy, it's a home run. If this is what it means to be an outlaw, if this is what it means to be banished, if this is what it means to be like hell adjacent, then it's like fine. It seems fine. I don't think we should be worried about it in the slightest.